Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Today my grocery haul is a Trader Joe's holiday mashup. So if you're interested in grocery hauls and what they have for the holiday season, keep watching. Good morning everyone, and I've got my nice new drink. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. I went to Trader Joe's and I basically found all that they've got right now for the holiday season. And by the holiday season, I mean it's like a Thanksgiving slash Christmas time mashup. So we're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna show you some of the things broken down into categories. So let's get started with drinks first. Um, let's just talk about what I'm drinking right now. I found this maple espresso black tea blend. And what's super unique about it is that it actually is a black tea, but they have chicory, dandelion root, fenugreek seed, espresso, and um, a few other flavors in it. So of course I was intrigued. I'm a big time tea and coffee drinker, so I wanted to see what the mix tasted like. It's actually beautiful. It smells like a flavored coffee, but when you drink it, it has the smoothness of a tea. So I'm really excited to see how it works with the caffeine level, especially with the chicory and all the good stuff in it. But so far, so good. Um, it's been steeping for probably a couple minutes and um, it really just has more of a normal black tea color to it. But I think it's definitely something you can add cream to if you're interested in. So if you're an avid tea drinker but you like fun flavors and something kind of warm and cozy, I'd suggest you try this. So it looks just like that and it is seasonal. The next tea that I want to talk about is this candy cane green tea. This one I am in love with already. I actually bought this one a few days ago. My nutritionist said I need to drink green tea in the afternoons. This is perfection. Um, actually, this one is decaffeinated, and it has, but it has peppermint kind of a flavor to it. So it still gives me that little bit of a boost that I need in the afternoon. And in a weird way, it's kind of satisfies my sweet tooth as well. So this is definitely worth a try if you're into like pepperoni kind of flavors and the green tea is super mild. So this is great. Uh, this next one is super fun. It's a, a sugar plum sparkling beverage that they're carrying right now. And basically it's a mix of plum and white grape juice. So I just think it's kind of fun. Uh, we like to purchase the Martinelli ciders and things like that during the holiday season. So I think that's just a fun take on that. And I mean, who doesn't love that? Look, sugar plum, how cute is that? The next thing is something that I just tried as soon as I um, got this popped open with my coffee this morning. They have a cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. Now ingredients probably aren't the cleanest thing on the uh, list here, but it actually tastes really good and it was flavor approved by my other coffee drinker in the house as well. So this is fun. I wouldn't want this like all year long, but definitely, you know, for the holiday season. And I think it's still gonna be a lot less calories. It's only got 40 calories for a tablespoon, which is still kind of a lot, but it's much better than say Starbucks. So that's a fun one to try. And it's obviously um, dairy free. Okay, this next one is my favorite. It's probably going to be um, kind of one of those things where you might love it or hate it. So leave a comment below. Do you drink eggnog during the Christmas season? This one, um, it's actually the light version. So that's pretty good. I think it's like the 2% kind of based, 90% um, less fat and fewer calories. So I'm a huge eggnog person. Uh, we drink it plain. We also heat it up and I put it in my coffee and that's my version of an eggnog latte. So this looks really yummy. I'm excited. Okay, now let's move on to what I call kind of like the, was it charcuterie, charcuterie board kind of situation. I know those are having a moment and um, for those of us that have to live gluten-free, it's kind of a difficult season sometimes for that. But I did find some fun options and um, I wanted to show you some of the things that I thought might be fun to make a board, just a grazing board type of situation. Um, they actually have summer sausage. So you don't have to go to the mall and find the kiosk and get the summer sausage. So this is a turkey-based summer sausage with no nitrates or uh, nitrites added. So that looks really fun. And then of course I had to go find um, a special cheese to add to that. So what we went with this time is the English Coastal Cheddar Cheese. I love Trader Joe's cheese section. They just have beautiful stuff. And then what I thought would be fun to add to it is um, they have the everything but the gluten crackers. 
they're having like this total moment with everything but the bagel kind of stuff um, but I'm all about it I love it and these are just they have so much good stuff in it quinoa flaxseed you name it so I think these are gonna be a fun addition to our little grazing board that we make they also have um, a lot of spreads so I got a roasted red pepper eggplant and garlic spread that was my choice this time thought that would be fun to add in a little dipping bowl They also are carrying uh, pretzel twists that are gluten-free now, so I'm excited to try those. These will be fun to add into some of our recipes that we like to make. I found some really great dessert recipes that call for pretzels, but these also go great on those boards. Then, of course, um, I found these beautiful little sugar plum tomatoes, and they're organic, and I love that most of the box is cardboard, so it's not just like a huge package of plastic, so those will be fun to add there, too. And then let's just move on over to the rest of the um, produce. They have mixed baby kale, which I am excited to try because sometimes kale gets a little too thick and crunchy to eat and um, just got too much of a bite to it. And I like to make a Caesar salad that I, it's a recipe I have that calls for kale. So I thought this would be a really great, you know, kind of take on that. I can do this and it's just a lot easier to eat and smaller, so I don't have to do as much chopping. So I'm excited that they have that now. They also have um, cut butternut squash and I love the size of it because I can just not have to deal with peeling a butternut squash, throw this in there, roast it, or add it to soups. So that's a really good one. Then of course, I make my own cranberry sauce uh, during Thanksgiving. And I end up making so much of it though, because I usually buy the bigger bag that I find like at Costco or whatever. Well, I decided to pare it down this year, and I think a lot of us are paring things down. So they have just this small little eight ounce package of cranberries, so I can make my own cranberry sauce, but not get too overwhelmed with like a gallon of it. So I love that idea. And then um, I actually found dry, oh shoot, I forgot. Here we go, one more for my grazing board. Uh, these are cauliflower crisps snacks and they have cauliflower, brown rice, coconut milk, seeds, um, so it's gluten free and it kind of looks vegan to me. Um, but if you have nut allergies, be careful on this one. Um, but anyway, I thought that would be kind of fun to add to the board as well. And then back to produce, um, I don't know if it counts or not because they're freeze dried, but it's still fun and you can do anything you want with these. I love these, they have tons of options. I got the freeze dried strawberries and the freeze dried Fuji apples this time. Love that to add into anything, salads, you name it. Okay, now let's get back into another area. I have talked about these before, but um, I just wanted to kind of give everybody like a little update on these. Um, these are the protein muffins. And they have two different flavors. They have the uh, maple and they also have the dark chocolate. So what we decided is these actually are a lot tastier and better than the Udi's that you can buy from a lot of the other stores. Um, now Udi's are still good, but if we had to pick, we definitely want these. And the, the winner is probably the dark chocolate and that's because it's used more as a dessert and you can add other things to it like a scoop of uh, nut butter or peanut butter you can add chocolate chips to it you can put whipped cream on it so you really feel like you're getting a really yummy dessert uh, this is definitely more on the, like the breakfasty side um, you know it's just got maple flavoring but that's still a wonderful option especially if you like are working and you need to take something to eat or have like a good snack in the morning it'd be great with coffee or some of this tea that we're drinking so these are really good um, I also was excited to find they now have the organic gluten-free oatmeals and um, we usually buy the Bob's Red Mill of these and again these are great for taking to work with you or just something on the go when you just need to eat really quickly and um, it's gluten-free this one is the maple and brown sugar so we're happy to try this and um, at least have another option instead of the Bob's Red Mill now uh, let's get into um, like the soups and the broth that kind of stuff they are still carrying the garden vegetable soup and from what i can see on the back it um actually i'm gonna venture to say it might be vegan 
Um, they don't outright say it is, and they don't outright say it's gluten-free, but from what I'm seeing on the back, I don't see a lot of anything in there. So it looks really fun, and I think this would be just a great option as well if you know you just want soup for two or three people for breakfast, maybe add it to a little sandwich or salad that you're making. Um, that would really make a quick lunch or dinner, so that looks super tasty. They also are carrying an organic lentil vegetable soup, which is vegan. And um, this is just a great option because lentils just, you know, have so many nutrients and protein. So it's just a really more, a much more filling meal. And um, yeah, so we're excited to try that as well. Then getting back to say holiday meals, we always have to have a gluten-free broth and um, I've been needing a beef broth. So thankfully Trader Joe's carries, I believe a gluten-free vegetable, chicken or beef broth. So we grabbed one of these. So these are always great to have for you know your holiday recipes. Then let me grab all the stuff from the freezer because that still kind of goes with dinner. So the next thing I grabbed was actually in their freezer section. I hadn't seen these before. Um, they may not be new though. These are scalloped creamy grat gratin potatoes with four cheeses. So obviously not dairy free, um, but it does just say it contains milk and eggs. So we are gonna give this a shot. Um, it looks delicious and it is approximately um, a pound and two ounces. So that should definitely give us three to four servings. So that'll be a nice side for one of our um, dinners this weekend. Okay, now let's move on to dessert options. I'm always excited with Trader Joe's because they carry some of the funnest things. Um, I don't know how to say this properly either, but it is the marzipan, is it stolen or stolen bread? Um, they have the larger option, but honestly, it's just me that eats this in the house. And I really just don't need two pounds of like really dense sweet bread. So they have these little 99 cent options. So of course I got three. This was gonna last me pretty much through the whole Christmas season because I can only eat about half of one at a time. But I love having these with tea or coffee. They're just such a treat to me. And I just love that they have the mini baby version because that way I'm not throwing things away or it doesn't get stale. Along those lines, look at this. They have baby gluten-free Italian panettone bread. Now I make a recipe um, for bread pudding. I also have used this to make um, French toast for just like a fun treat in the morning, sometimes during the holiday season. But I have never ever seen a gluten-free option. And they do have regular option in the full size and in this size as well, but of course we needed this. And I do love that it's small because it really forces me just to make a small amount and we don't have a lot extra sitting around, but it still satisfies that craving. So this is so cute and it's got raisins and orange peel in it, so we're happy to try that. And look, this practically looks like a Christmas ornament. Is that not the cutest? <laughs> I also grabbed um, another one of these. These are just a really good staple to have in the house for a quick thing. They are almond butter, no, excuse me, almond flour based chocolate chip cookies. And you just basically add some of your milk or version of it, some vanilla extract and some oil or butter. So it just is something fun to have, especially if you have like a last minute guest or somebody come through and you just need to throw something quick in the oven. Um, these are great to have. So they still have these in stock. Then of course I went to the ice cream section and we always have to have this uh, vanilla non-dairy frozen dessert made with um, almond. I believe it's almond milk type of thing. Just love this flavor. I think I've told you before, it's like a cake batter flavor. And um, trying this season to make a gluten-free version of a tiramisu bunt cake that I have made in the past, and it requires coffee ice cream. So again, I read the um, ingredients list and this doesn't look too bad. It looks worth a shot to try to make it and I'm just gonna swap out for gluten-free flour, but they do have coffee bean ice cream, so I grabbed that for that recipe. And then I'm happy to say they now carry gluten-free all-purpose flour. Now it's not a very big bag, it's only a one pound bag, but this is definitely gonna help me to get through and make that cake. And um, I think that'll be the perfect time to test this and see how it bakes up. So this is really exciting. I wanna say it's close to three or four dollars for the pound, so yes, it's always expensive. But um, it's a good option to have because I normally have to go to a separate grocery store to buy this type of flour, so now I don't. 
Okay, I did buy a few snacks that I thought were kind of hilarious, so I wanted to share those with you, but oh my goodness, hold on. All right, check this out. Seasoned kettle chips, but the funny thing is these are Thanksgiving stuffing flavored, and yes, they're gluten-free. Can you believe that? Um, when I actually purchased these, uh, I was cracking up and we were talking to the cash register person and they said, well, did you see the seasoning that we carry? And I said, no, I didn't go over there this time. Why? Apparently they have a Thanksgiving stuffing seasoning that you can buy, like actually in the little jar that you sprinkle onto stuff. I have no idea what I would use that for, but I thought it was hilarious. And they're always kind of doing a kitschy like seasoning blend for the season. So Thanksgiving stuffing it is this year but uh, these should be interesting. Then of course, um, I purchased these because they're just fun to have in the house. You know, if you just need a quick go-to snack, there's a lot of movie nights going on. Um, you know, this type of season, we start watching the Hallmark Channel, we start watching on Elf and all the Christmas movies, and we're catching up on The Mandalorian. So um, instead of making lots of popcorn all the time, I bought this kettle corn and um, it is, so clean. It just has uh, popcorn, sugar, sunflower oil, and salt in it. So that's just a really good little fun treat and snack. And then I don't have to pull out my pan and make popcorn. So this is a bag of six, I believe. Two, four, six. Yeah. So that's just a good option. Okay. Last but not least, I had to purchase this. It is actually not for me. It's a gift, but it was hilarious. They are carrying their advent calendars and um, Trader Joe's and Aldi and then also World Market carries really basic advent calendars that just kind of pop open like a little cardboard and you know usually get like a little milk chocolate out of it or whatever and they've been fun over the years but I typically don't purchase those very often but oh my gosh this one is an advent calendar for your cat. So yes, it is an actual cat treat advent calendar. I thought this was hilarious. I have several cat ladies in my life and uh, one in particular I am gonna be visiting soon. So I had to purchase this for her precious little cat. And it's just like a regular advent calendar. You just pop open by the day and you give your cat a treat. Um, they may have had a dog one as well, but honestly I didn't look. I was just, when I saw this, I thought it was hilarious, threw it in my cart and left. So anyway, if you have a cat or a cat friend and you wanna just kinda of get them a funny little gift, um, I believe it was $5.99 for this little guy, which isn't too bad because you know it's got, what, like 24, 25 little cat treats in it, so not bad. Okay, so that does it for me and my holiday mashup gluten-free haul for the most part. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoy your holiday season and until next time, I'll see you soon.